volumes good on this. So right now, I'm headed out to uh, see my dad. He went to urgent care and then was told from urgent care that he needed to go to the emergency room. Something to do with his heart. And um, yeah, I'm a little worried about him. So this episode is just a little vlog. Just about my, uh, my travels to go see my dad. Cover my mom, and then uh, at the end of the episode, I'll, I'll have a, uh, a little bit of an unboxing on a grill for the LX470. All in vain. Who will pick you up when you've lost everything? Hey, just want to give you a little update. I went and saw my dad today at the hospital. He's doing great. He uh, just had a little slight flutter in his heart. He's under like great care right now. He's seeing doctors, they're gonna give him some medications. And uh, I think he's gonna make a good recovery. Actually, I know he's gonna make a good recovery. He's a, he's a fighter. So, hey, so today is just an unboxing of the Garage Alpha LX470 grill you know it's sturdy it's thick plastic it says Lexus right across the front and uh, I'm really excited to put this in you know it's also interchangeable so if you want to replace that Lexus with a Toyota badge look at that pretty nice huh it fits right in I like that classic look. That definitely looks nice. However, I mean, I'll, ex I'll install it so you guys can see how you can change this out. But I'm really digging the Lexus. We'll have to see. I was told that this was modeled for a newer LX470, probably like a, an 03 and newer. We, you know, we, we think that they're all about the same, right? Like gas tanks are all the same, fuel pumps are the same. Grills are the same. I think there are slight, slight variations between the years. So my 2002 was actually manufactured in August of 01. And I'm, uh, we'll see how it works. I, I, if, and, and I'll, we'll go step by step and see if I have to make any type of modifications. And you know the beauty of this grill is that if you look at the little holes right here in the grill, you can actually take in a uh, Raptor lights. So I really like the Raptor light look. And I installed the Raptor lights on my 2002 Ford F350. And you know, I put them behind the grill, it looks great. And uh, I've seen some other people like uh, Mr. Memo, I'll put a link down below with 98 Land Cruiser. And uh, he put Raptor lights on his Land Cruiser. And I just couldn't figure out a way with a grill that I have how I could do that. So I just didn't want to chop up that grill and drill into it and just, it, it just didn't look like it would accommodate Raptor lights very nicely. This one, I think just for a few extra dollars from Garage Alpha, you can actually get the lights that fit within the grill. Oh, come on, let's see. There we go, how about that? Is that a little better? <laughs> so it's got four little LEDs, and amber lens. It's got pigtails to fit for the wiring harness, harness that it has. And I will do a separate install video for this particular light into that grill. Today, just an unboxing. Just wanted to show you what the contents were. 
There is a slight, there's a little uh, uh, weather seal strip that goes in there. I don't have instructions, but hey, let's figure it out together. We'll get this done. And it shouldn't be too hard. It's pretty self-explanatory how the old grill comes out and how this new one comes in. All right, until next time. The next video you see will be the installation of this Garage Alpha grill for the LX470. Hey, thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.